Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 2G and just jailbreak your iPhone 3G. Now this will only work if you have 3.3, but it will also work with 3.2. So, once you have the files you need downloaded, which are in my video description, you, you need 3 for the iPhone 2G and just 2 for the 3G. You'll see a redsnow.exe icon and you're going to right click it and click properties. Compatibility and check run this program in compatibility mode 4 and on the drop down menu select Windows XP Service Pack 2 and click apply and OK. And once you've done that right click it and run as administrator and the reason you're doing this is if you don't do it I've found that the jailbreak stops in mid jailbreak which is a pain because you have to hard reset your iPhone and that's really annoying. Now you're gonna click browse and find the 3.1.2 firmware yes you're on the 3.1.3 device but you need this in order to trick red snow into jailbreaking your iPhone click next wait for it to prepare now you're gonna get a bunch of options and there's a lot of them but all I need is to install Cydia and unlock now you can only check unlock if you have an iPhone 2G. If you have a 3G that will be gone, so just jailbreak for iPhone 3G users. Now click next and search for the bootloaders. Put mine on my desktop. So select those and click next. Now it's asking you to shut down your iPhone. Let me do that really quick. And hold your hand finger on the power button as you click next and I'm gonna guide you through this so ready set hold power button 2 1 hold home button together 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let go of the power button and keep holding the home button and keep holding it until you see something on the red snow but I recommend holding it throughout the whole jailbreak because I found it crashes less often. And you'll see a white screen on your iPhone, but keep holding the home button. Now, if you didn't do those steps in the beginning, it would stop about right about now and give you an error that redsnow.exe has closed. So. That's why you did that. No. It just has one last step and it's going to be finished on the computer part. And you can go ahead and click finish. Now you can let go and click finish on your computer. Now the rest is on your iPhone. So it'll take a little bit to jailbreak and unlock it. Alright, now that my iPhone has finished jailbreaking you can see that it has city on the springboard and go ahead and put in your T-Mobile SIM card and it should activate momentarily but if it doesn't you can go into settings and turn on airplane mode and turn it back off and it will search and should find it if that doesn't work you can reboot your iPhone but I'm pretty sure the airplane mode should work and that's how you jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 2G and jailbreak your iPhone 3G on 3.1.3 so thanks for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.